moment, so many people attack the owner of that establishment. Really? Yeah, and social media. And from the last I heard, his, his business wasn't doing great. I don't know if it is or not. I, I didn't look into it, so please don't quote me on that. But how are you attacking this business owner for saying this is not acceptable? basically defending everyone within the confines of that space because not everybody want to see you get up on the table and twerk your behind. So instead of, you know, being on her for, you know, acting inappropriately, they would go after the man who stopped her from acting inappropriately, meaning he was stopping her from doing something inappropriate. He was making her accountable. That's, that's just crazy to me. So I guess that's, that's why one of the things why people in our community have stopped um, voicing their opinion or stopping people from doing things that we know is wrong. They're scared of being attacked for calling a damn spade a spade. You know what I mean? You know, the sad part about that is, um, and, and this is the thing that bugs me about Americans. I'll just say Americans because it doesn't matter what kind of American you are. Um, but specifically about ours, everyone talks about rights, but they don't understand rights. Um, you know, one of the biggest things that I have a problem with is this, this, this right to free speech thing. First amendment, freedom of speech, just because you have the freedom of speech doesn't mean you need to always open your mouth. Um, and and when you're speaking about Kanye, just because a person has a freedom to speech does not mean they need to be on your platform to be heard. And I say that, be, I say those two things because, yes, he has the freedom of speech. But if what you're saying is toxic to people in general, not only the people that you're talking about, but the people around you, maybe you need to... Re sit back and rethink what you're saying or, 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 or just be more logical and reasonable when you're thinking. Now, a lot of platforms from CNN to Nori on Drink Champs has had him on their programs and he has wild off at the mouth and they've ended up removing the interviews that they've done with him. I think probably about three, four, five, six interviews have been removed. Um, because of what he's been saying. His social media accounts have been suspended because of the things that he's been saying. So it's like, and, and some of them have apologized for having him on their programs and, and him saying that offending people. My thing is this, just because he, he or anyone has the freedom of speech does not mean that you have to give them a platform to express what they're saying. And the part that that blows my mind about this, especially with our people, and it goes to what you're saying about holding people accountable and stuff like this and, and choosing who to hold accountable. It's like, if you've seen this joker on two and three interviews saying some wild stuff that you don't agree with and that you think, feel, or know is not right, why would you bring him on your platform to do the same thing? It's like, you think this is cute because then when he comes on your platform and he does the same thing and now you catch him backlash, now you have to apologize. It's the clickbait thing. It's like, oh, he said this over here. Let me get him over here so I can get all this buzz from this, that, and other. And it's like, why are we doing that as a culture? Like, is that what we, 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 we still on that doing things for likes, for clicks? Like, what are we doing here? I agree with you. Like, again, if we know the type of person Kanye is, we know that he tends to say things that a lot of people don't agree with. More people disagree with him than agree with him. Mm -hmm. So if you recognize that and you understand that, why would you bring him on your platform? I think at that point, it's definitely all about clicks and likes. And he hit somebody talking about, did you hear what Kanye said on so-and-so and so-and-so? Yeah. So they rather just save face and apologize knowing that, you know, that was their true intention just to get attention to their platform. And I'm not calling out Nori, Nori because I love his show. I, I think that the drink champs, uh, they got a phenomenal show. Um, but 
I think that there were powers that be that made him or forced him uh, to remove that interview because from what I know, Nori, he's, he's